Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Batman Annual 2. This is from the 2016 Rebirth series. And it is really just about Batman and Catwoman's relationship, I guess. I don't know what this is, honestly. Okay, so this is written by Tom King, art by Lee Weeks, who did pages 1 through 30 and the cover. Michael Lark did pages 31 through 38. Colors by Elizabeth Breitweiser, pages 1 through 30. And June Chung, 31 through 38. Letters by Darren Bennett, assistant editor Maggie Hell, editor James S. Rich. So the art was fantastic. I can't complain. I like Lee Weeks' style. I like Michael Lark pretty well. And Elizabeth Breitweiser and June Chung did did great jobs and the letters were fantastic the problem is the story it's dumb and it's kind of boring alfred cracks some crude jokes that are eh, sarcastically funny i suppose but the whole premise is catwoman's been breaking into wayne manor for decades or at least years and just toying with batman and then we've progress later down the line and they, they have these weird boring conversations and then eventually they jump ahead like 30 years and Batman's old and so is she and he's dying and it's really sad. Now this would have been an interesting story if it hadn't been a Batman story. If this had been, I don't know, Booster Gold or Captain America or somebody else, it probably would have been more interesting but the brooding Batman is not here, the Master Detective is not here it's mostly just Catwoman doing all the stuff Batman should be doing. And this is really a Catwoman story, and it's not titled Catwoman, it's titled Batman. So, Tom King, I don't know why you think Batman is this, like, panty-waist millennial, but he's not. He's an alpha male man's man kind of thing. He's into action-adventure. This is not an action-adventure. This is a romance book, which would be fine if it were different characters, but these characters characters do not have to have a romance story like this for my five dollars. I was real disappointed with this book. I thought it would be a, a much better written interesting story but it's really a go nowhere story. It's a slice of life book and it's this kind of artsy pretentious nonsense that I don't really care about. This is college literature class stuff. If you want to write this stuff go read House of the Seven Gables or some other garbage from the 1800s. That's not what you <laughs> Batman should be. Batman should be action adventure, intrigue, mystery detective stuff. Instead it's a romance book. Well I didn't sign on for a romance book. I signed on for Batman. So I don't know what this is but it's another miss by Tom King. This is just becoming a slog. Getting through his ridiculous run on Batman. This low testosterone of no interest millennial Batman that I don't know who this is targeted at. Like I said the issue is well written. It's just for the wrong characters. The story just was a total miss for me. I'm not going to recommend it. If you like romance stuff, you will probably like this. It's a decent story. It's just not a Batman story. I think that if it had been other characters that weren't supposed to be dark, adventuring, broody people, it probably would have been better. It just wasn't the right fit for the this character universe, this setting. So I, I think it was just a misinterpretation of Batman. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but other characters it would have worked for. That's my opinion on it. As always, thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss future reviews. And we hope to see you on the next one.